Uh, we're sitting here today with Shri Kote, the, Com the Comcast software arch architect and visionary. <laughs> He's just given his keynote at LCA 14 and we're excited to have him here and we're excited that Comcast has joined Lenaro. Shri, could you tell us what were some of the highlights of your keynote address? Sure. I mean, I, I think uh, it's unusual for a company like uh, Comcast, for a service provider, to be as active in the open source community as we're trying to be. Um, but what we've been finding is that the velocity of innovation that's required in the market these days, you know, the type of products that we want to build um, and the experiences we want to deliver really require us to optimize um, all across the different layers of the stack. One of the key elements for us, obviously, is devices in the home, and that's the biggest uh, thing that brought us to the Lenaro community. Um, we've been doing some work um, at Comcast at this, on this thing we call the RDK um, with, a, with a bunch of other service providers across the industry, and the idea was, much like Lenaro, really to tap into a shared community for development. Now, typically, the cable world has been a bit slower on the adoption of open source software, so we're thrilled to see that you, you took the initiative to take that direction, and you feel that it's a benefit to everybody in your ecosystem, not only the operators, but everybody developing to leverage all this. I, I think that's right. I mean, the, the, the notion of open source, right, is that a rising tide lifts all boats, you know what I mean? Right. And, um, you know, the irony is, although I think it's been tough for a lot of big companies to wrap their heads around, if you think about it, you know, we've got the biggest boat. Yes. <laughs> and so there's a lot of benefit that accrues to, to us. So we're not doing this, um, you know, out of strictly altruistic m motives. Uh, we think there's actually real uh, business benefit to us. And I think the, the good thing is we've demonstrated um, that, you know, delivering superior products in the marketplace really moves your business and, in a material way. Right. Um, you know, that's, that's sort of at the essence of this whole DevOps culture shift, right, is that great applications are critical to your business. And the rate of innovation definitely can in increase. And I, I think people see that what happened in the mobile space, the people's expectations have changed for the experience they expect from the, the big screen and the, they expect the same pace of innovation now that they've been seeing on their phones and tablets. No, I think that's right. And so I think one of the things we've been able to do in the last year, year and a half at Comcast is, um, you know, both demonstrate that it matters and demonstrate that we can do it, right? Both of which were, <laughs> both of which were, were, were open questions. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think all that said, you know, we've been, a big part of the shift has been to try to leverage um, innovation that is much bigger than even the scale that we have at Comcast. Um, and we feel like uh, you know the things that the Lenar community is doing, particularly for around the ARM chipset, is exactly the right type of is exactly the right type of process. Right, ARM led the mobile revolution, yes. and people are looking for ARM to continue that into the digital home space. I, I think that's right. And so when, when we think about it, we really think about you know if you care about ARM, you should care about Lenaro, right? Because you know the hardware without software. Um, doesn't doesn't mean a whole lot, right? And right. and while Arm's done a fantastic job pushing their architecture licenses and and um, the SOC licenses because they've built a, a phenomenal technology set, um, we've seen a lot more fracturing in terms of the software and services on top of that than, than we'd like to see. Right, and that's one of the the, the goals of Lenaro's Digital Home Group is to help reduce fragmentation and get people to you know, rely on you know, reference implementations and. Um, not to have all these different, you know, Linux distros and everything oh, yeah. like this. You know? Yeah, no, our, our big joke around this is, right, is that uh, saying Linux is only slightly better than saying computer, right? It, it doesn't, just it doesn't matter. Yeah, it you doesn't mean far. a whole lot. Right. <laughs> um, and so, uh, in fact, I think we were a little bit surprised as we got into, you know, historically a lot of our, a lot of our development was driven by OEMs and partners. Um, and as we, as we, by virtue of necessity, got into a lot more of the details, I think we were a little surprised at how immature some of the space was. And you know, obviously that, that's a big part of where, where Android came into the community was to help kind of unify around uh, exactly. a, a driver model, right, um, and, and an operating system. Um, and Android's great, you know, but if you look at our space, we, we think that we needed something similar, which is where the RDK come from. And we feel like the, the union of RDK and, and Lenaro, particularly around ARM SOX, is, um, is exactly the right thing for our business. Right, and you also need support from the standards communities, the W3C, MPEG, I think of unifying or promoting interoperability through standards through W3C, EME, MSC, yep. MPEG Common Encryption, MPEG Dash, it helps consolidate and increase the interoperability. You're 100% you're right. I mean, you know, we, we've been, uh, just like with the, just as we joined the LARA community, Comcast also recently joined W3C about a year ago, um, and we've been doing a lot of active work in that space, because we feel like these open application environments are, are kind of good for everybody, right? And at the end of the day, 
a lot of these technology domains are not where, certainly where we differentiate our business, right? We differentiate our business on in the services that we provide, the content that we offer, and the products that we build. Right, and, and LHG is looking to solve those common engineering problems to allow people to do the exciting differentiating things at no, the application right. I mean, layer. Yeah, that's exactly right. Like, how many times do people need to reinvent an MPEG-4 decoder, right? right. Like, um, it's just it's just uh, silly already. Same thing with, you know, web web, web rendering engines, right? There's just so only so many times you want to reinvent the wheel before you want to be actually accretively adding something to the space, and uh, exactly. that's where we hope we can focus right. our time and energy. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. We're looking forward to a lot of very interesting projects and work items in Lenaro Digital Home in support of RDK and, and Android as well. So we're uh, thrilled to have you on board and looking forward to help you to continue innovating. Thank you very much. We're very excited to be here. Great.